gang of Mumbai. So they were involved in the organized crime first. They were involved in the uh, that uh, is smuggling. So, so drug, drug trafficking, trafficking is organized crime, crime. One, one form of organized crime, crime. and how, how it is interlinked with the terrorism so, so both are the problem so, so today's topic is completely related to your mains okay but, but from now onwards we will include some of the topics for prelims as well okay but from the next classes Okay, two or three topic we will be covering for the prelims as well. Okay, so we will discuss first drug trade and the second one is organized crime. So last week that was in the news that meth lab busted the hard jail warden and Mexican drug cartel member among five held. Or ye kab ki news hai? Abhi do din pehle ki. That NCB ceased. NCB means what is NCB? Narcotics Control Bureau. Narcotics Control Bureau seized 95 kg of drug in solid and liquid form from a factory in Gautam Buddhanagar. Okay. So from a lab, they seized 95 kg of drugs. Okay. So basically, uh, these was the drug. In a major operation, Narcotics Control Bureau and Delhi Police busted that methamphetamine. Methamphetamine. So in prelims, they can ask that what is methamphetamine? Such questions were asked previously by UPSC. They are giving one keyword and they are asking what is this? Okay. We will discuss that what is that meta, uh, metha methamphetamine okay so uh, methamphetamine lab in noida linked to the mexican cartel this is one uh, trans transnational criminal group which is uh, based in the mexico whose name is uh, jalisco new generation cjng so we will discuss uh, about this group as well they seized 95 kg of methamphetamine and arrested five individuals, including a Tihar jail warden and a Mexican national. This operation highlights the international connection and sophisticated network involved in the drug trafficking. Okay. Next, according to NCB, this cartel operates in the West Delhi and his network is spread across the Delhi NCR. It is believed that considering that the low cost of production of synthetic drugs like methamphetamine and mephedrone, the drug mafia is increasingly shifting, shifting to set up such clandestine lab in industrial area so that local law enforcement agencies are not alerted by the routine transportation of the material and machinery. So basically, they are shifting their production facility in those areas uh, where industries are located so that they can clandestinely produce that drug and transport that drug from that particular area in order to avoid the check post we can say okay so that was in the news and that was not the only news related to drug trafficking in india in recent years drug trafficking these are the examples of uh, drug seizure from India. Like, this is the latest one, but Delhi cocaine seizure. That Delhi police recently seized the Colombian cocaine. So, here, the Mexican drug cartel. Here, Colombian drug cartel. So, Delhi police seized the Colombian cocaine worth how much? 6,500 crore. Market, uh, marking the biggest drug bust in the North India, the drugs were intended for major events in Delhi, Mumbai and Goa. So basically, the destination of drug was India. Okay? 
ऐसा नहीं था कि इंडिया से निकल के कहीं और जाने वाली थी यस द डेस्टिनेशन ऑफ द ड्रग वॉज इंडिया फोर की मेंबर ऑफ द कार्टल वर अरेस्टेड एंड ऑन गोइंग इन्वेस्टिगेशन एम टू अप्रहेंड द किनशिप बेस्ड इन दुबई देन Chennai Mathlab burst. In another significant burst, Mathlab in Chennai was dismantled. Uh, this operation, the reminiscence of the TV show Breaking Bad, involved a chemistry student who was producing methamphetamine. Uh, the police recovered two forty-five gram of meth and believed the operation could be uh, linked to a larger. Okay, so the same thing was busted from. Chennai as well. Then Assam heroin seizure. The joint operation by Assami and Manipuri police led to the seizure of heroin, etc. So, are you getting? Drug rackets have been busted from across the country. So, drug menace is becoming a new challenge for Indian society. Why? What is the reason? Why we are consuming more drug? Are we consuming or not? first thing the first question is are we consuming drugs yes they have the legal drug yes they are legal drug that is uh, allowed by the government to usko hum nahi karenge ki usko drug consume karna bolenge hai na they have the medicines we are taking all those things in the form of medicine but what about illegal drugs are we consuming illegal drugs or what are the substances that we are consuming as an indian illegally like charas ganja bhang these are also the substances that indians are consuming routinely yes or no it is not like that uh, we are consuming because some uh, foreign nationals are coming and smuggling these substances to india traditionally we are consuming some things yes or no like chavas bhang ganja they are very common in india but now we are consuming these synthetic drugs as well ye hua na this is the change which is happening okay the next thing about that particular cartel look at the condition of this cartel why i am Uh, discussing this particular cartel because recently whatever the drug seizure happened in new delhi this cartel is involved so if we are allowing such cartel to operate in india what will be the future of india look at this so cjng is also known as cartel the jalisco newa generation is one of the most powerful and dangerous criminal organization of the mexico it is heavily involved in the drug trafficking particularly cocaine and methamphetamine they are also engaged in the arms trafficking human trafficking extortion money laundering and they often involved in the violence in order to perpetuate their business or their organized crime okay that the brutal tactics to maintain the control and intimidate rivals authority they have been involved in the numerous violent confrontation with the mexican security forces are you getting they are having okay confrontation with the mexican security forces so if they are freely uh, operate in india so the future is not very far that they will be having direct confrontation with the indian security forces yes or no the next thing territory the cjng operates in the multiple mexican states and has the presence in the several countries including united states canada various countries in the europe asia and south america their alliances and technological use that is the cjng has been noted for using advanced technology including drones and encrypted communication are you getting so they are using drones and these are the examples where they involved in the violence look at the uh, like in january 2024 intense battle between cjng and sinaloa cartel so basically two cartels were fighting against each other and because of that 
लेड टू डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ सेवन हंड्रेड रेसिडेंट इन मेक्सिको एक्सप्लोजिव ड्रोन अटैक इन टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी वन सी जे एन जी यूज ड्रोन ड्रोन विद एक्सप्लोजिव टू अटैक पुलिस ऑफिसर इन मिचो कैन इंजरिंग द टू ऑफिसर्स Are you getting? So they are using drones. They are using sophisticated technology. They are having unlimited amount of money. Yes or no? And sophisticated weapons as well. And the countries where they are working, they are having direct confrontation with the security forces. So you can imagine how much powerful they are. Yes or no? so if they are operating in india the internal security of india will be threatened or not and not only internal security if indian youth will be consuming drugs then what will be the future yes or no what will be the future this is the okay chepas violence hundred free car cartel battles in the southern mexico a cartel used armed drones and a plane to bomb police सी जे एन जी वहां पे इस लेवल पे चल रहा है इन लोगों का ठीक है एंड द सेम ग्रुप इज इन्वॉल्व इन दीसेंट केस ओके दीज थिंग्स आर रिलेटेड टू योर फिल्म एग्जामिनेशन ओके द टाइप्स ऑफ ड्रग्स कौन कौन से टाइप्स होते हैं फर्स्ट वन इज द स्टिमुलेंट ओके स्टिमुलेंट का इफेक्ट क्या होता है इट इंक्रीज अलर्टनेस अटेंशन एनर्जी एंड दे कैन ऑल्सो एलिवेट ब्लड प्रेशर हार्ट रेट एंड रेस्पिवेशन what are the stimulant we use this particular thing in our day to day life yes that is the coffee okay if someone is not satisfied with the coffee then they will also take this particular thing via smoking or via that khani yes we all are addicted in some uh, form of substance nicotine then amphetamine uh, and cocaine okay so they all are stimulant uh, these series of question can be asked in the exam so first type of uh, drugs is the stimulants then the second one is depressant like alcohol benzo uh, diazepines and barbiturates it slow downs the function of the central nervous system leading to the relaxation drowsiness and the decreased inhibition this is the second type of drug so one is stimulant second one is depressant third one is opioids opioids means uh, they are derived from the opium basically so morphine heroin codeine and oxycodone they they are uh, they relieve pain euphoria drowsiness high potential for the addiction and overdose so pain to relief करता है इन मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेस मोर्फिन इज यूज एज ए पेन रिलीवर बट द पॉइंट इज वट अबाउट हीरोइन एंड कोडीन एंड अदर ड्रग्स सो दी आर दीज आर ओपियोइड्स देन हेलुसिनोजेलुसिनोजन लाइक वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ड्रग इज एल एस डी आपने नाम सुना होगा एल एस डी का नहीं सुना नहीं ओके सो एल एस डी एल एस डी इज लाइसर्जिक एसिड डाय ethyl amide okay diethyl amide then next one is the magic mushroom third one is mescaline alert perception mood and various cognitive processes can cause hallucination and an altered sense of reality so these are four kinds of drug one is stimulant give examples of stimulants caffeine nicotine okay these are stimulants second one is depressant what are the depressant one one is alcohol then benzo diazepines and barbiturates opioids morphine heroin codeine and uh, oxycodone and hallucination then that is lsd and mushroom, magic mushroom mescaline some other types of drug like uh, cannabinoids Cannabinoids means वो जो गांजे के पौधे से जो निकलता है वो वाला वो सारी ड्रग्स ये वाली होती है मारियोना एंड कैनी बिडियोल तो वो सारा जो एक चरस गांजा यस चरस गांजा एंड भांग दीज आर कैनबीज ओके कैनबे नोइट्स 
then euphoria relaxation altered perception of time increased appetite used medically for pain relief and other condition so this particular drug is highly okay very much prevalent in india yes most of the sadhu sanyasis are using these particular thing but nowadays youth are also involved in this particular thing yes especially the college students and some of the web series and some some of the stand up com comedians are also promoting such things which is not good cannabinoids then inhalants like nitrous oxide uh, solvents uh, like pentathenal iske bhi nashe hote hote hai pentathenal college ke student lage rehte hain isme bhi suna hai ki nahi aapne suna hai ha ये वाला जो पेंट थिनर है उसको भी सूंघते रहते हैं क्योंकि उससे नशे होते हैं एरोसोल्स सॉल्वेंट सो शॉर्ट टर्म यूफोरिया डिजीनेस एलुसिनेशन लॉन्ग टर्म यूज कैन कॉज सीवियस डैमेज टू द ब्रेन एंड द अदर ऑर्गन देन एनाबोलिक स्टेरॉइड लाइक टेस्टोस्टेरोन एंड नेंड्रोलॉन दैट प्रमोट्स मसल ग्रोथ एनहांस्ड एथलेटिक परफॉर्मेंस कैन लीड टू द सीवियस हेल्थ इशू लाइक लिवर डैमेज एंड कार्डियोवास्कुलर प्रॉब्लम देन सम अदर लाइक Prescription drugs, तो ये तो हम करते ही है यूज प्रिस्क्रिप्शन ड्रग्स लाइक एंटीबायोटिक्स एंटी परटेंसिव एंड एंटी डिप्रेजेंट एंड ओवर द काउंटर ड्रग्स लाइक पैरासिटामोल इबूप्रोफेन एंड सो सम ड्रग्स आर लीगल बट सम अदर ड्रग्स आर नॉट लीगल इन इंडिया एंड दे आर इलीगल स्टिल पीपल आर कंज्यूमिंग स्पेशली कैनाबनोइड्स ठीक है ये काफी चलन में है इंडिया में इन दो जो ड्रग्स थी इनके बारे में थोड़ा और डिटेल में देख लेते हैं प्रिलिम्स में आपसे पूछ सकते हैं यस वन इज मैथम फेटामाइन एंड अनदर वन इज मैफेडोन आर बोथ पावरफुल स्टिमुलेंट तो क्वेश्चन यहीं से बनता है दट विच टाइप ऑफ ड्रग इज दिस मैथम फेटामाइन सो दे आर दी स्टिमुलेंट ओके they are stimulants but they have distinct chemical structure like methamphetamine increase the release of dopamine in the brain leading to the intense euphoria increased energy heightened alertness and it also suppresses the appetite and cause hyperactivity what are the risk uh, look at the condition drug abuser for time ke sath aise ho, ho jate hain samajh jao aap theek hai risk long term use can lead to the severe addiction cognitive deficits dental problem skin sores increased risk of infectious disease due to the needle shaving it can also cause cardiovascular issues such as increased heart rate blood pressure and can lead to the stroke and heart attack okay so methamphetamine is stimulant this is the second one chemical structure iske bare mein ye pooch sakte hain मेफेडोन सो मेफेडोन इज ऑल्सो नोन एज मेउ मेउ दैट इज फॉर एम एम सी इज ए सिंथेटिक स्टिमुलेंट ऑफ केथियोन क्लास विच इज केमिकली सिमिलर टू एम्फेटामाइन वट आर द इफेक्ट तो देख लेना इसके इफेक्ट ओके सो बेसिकली ड्रग्स आर ऑफ मेनी टाइप एंड द मोस्ट कॉमन यूज ड्रग्स ओके फॉर सब्सटेंस अब्यूज आर स्टिमुलेंट first one is stimulant second one is depressant yes because alcohol is depressant na yes stimulant depressant opioids and this one cannabinoids okay so concept is clear to you this is the first thing now <coughs> drug abuses in india is india on the brink of drug and abu alcohol abuse crisis are you witnessing this what are your opinion with respect to drug and alcohol abuse in india are we facing this crisis or this is not a big issue kya hai yes we are facing this crisis why why there is so much uh, alcohol abuse or any such substance abuse in india 
especially that uh, cannabinoids ganja chavas bhang alcohol tobacco yes we are regularly consuming all these things and nowadays the youth is also involved in the in those inhalant like paint thinner okay and that whitener etc आप सोच सकते हैं कि वो जो व्हाइटनर आता है उसको भी सूंघ के नशे होते हैं लोगों के यस yes, वो जो व्हाइटनर जो हम यूज करते हैं ना उसको लोग खोल के सूंघते रहते हैं बताइए रिलीजियस एसोसिएशन ऑफ दीज ड्रग्स वी कैन से रिलीजियस एसोसिएशन ओके अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट व्हाई दीज ड्रग्स आर कॉमन व्हाई वी आर अब्यूजिंग yes culture okay glorification of all these drugs by either by web series or by some people or we can say some of the celebrities are doing that thing okay just listen all those punjabi songs yes drugs alcohol ganja chavas okay they are actively promoting all these things yes so culture uh, celebrity fan following okay people trying to become some cool dude something apart from that peer pressure okay if you are in a particular group where four people are smoking something then you will automatically become a smoker okay apart from that aur bataiye stress okay high level of competition people are not getting jobs okay and that high level of competition because of that people are involved in that substance abuse because according to them that cocaine from smoking will give them some nicotine and nicotine is nothing but the stimulant so is stimulant what stimulant will do it will release the dopamine we have discussed that and dopamine is nothing but the happy hormone so basically why are smoking people are getting nicotine and via nicotine they are releasing that dopamine and dopamine is the happy hormone to thodi dev ke liye unko acha lagta hai this is one of the reason apart from that are ha to usme bhi to cannabinoids hota hai na opioids hota hai usme theek hai बोतल की बोतल जो कफ सिरप हम लाते हैं दस दिन में एक एक ढक्कन पीते हैं लोग एक ही बार में पी जाते हैं अब जब आपको एक ढक्कन में इतना नशा होता है कि नींद आ ही जाती है तो सोचो कि एक पूरी बोतल में कैसा क्या होगा है ना तो ये भी होता है बिल्कुल सही बात है नाउ पीपल डोंट है कैपेसिटी टू हैंडल द सिचुएशन यस पंजाब एंड नॉर्थ ईस्ट अप्रोक्सिमेटी पाक एंड म्यांमार अफेक्टेड बाय द क्रॉस बॉर्डर ड्रग वेरी गुड दिस इज पॉइंट बिकॉज़ वी आर लोकेटेड इन टू वन ऑफ द मोस्ट ड्रग प्रोड्यूसिंग एरिया ऑन द वन हैंड वी आर हैविंग दैट गोल्डन क्रीसेंट एंड ऑन द अदर हैंड वी आर हैविंग गोल्डन ट्राइंगल ओके वॉट इज गोल्डन क्रीसेंट एंड गोल्डन ट्राइंगल यस यस i have given this particular diagram this is the golden crescent the area of afghanistan pakistan and iran it is the largest drug producing especially the opium producing area of the world and this is golden triangle that is laos cambodia and myanmar okay this is the golden triangle so our geographical location is situated in between the two okay so especially the border area is already vulnerable to the drug abuse this is another reason okay so we can say some of the religious reason yes some of the social reason or economic reason like unemployment psychological reason like uh, stress tension depression and to come out of that people are abusing drug okay some other reason जोग्राफिकल हो गया सोशल हो गया इकोनॉमिक हो गया दैट पीपल आर अनएम्प्लॉयड एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट दे आर कंज्यूमिंग ड्रग्स मोर बिहेवियर प्रॉब्लम लाइक टीन एजर्स अनएबल टू डिस्कस प्रॉब्लम विद द फैमिली बिकम मोर प्रोन टू द ड्रग्स यस वी कैन से दिस यस टेक्नोलॉजिकल हाई लेवल ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी लाइक दे आर यूजिंग ड्रोन्स टू डिलीवर दोज ड्रग पैकेट्स यस 
so they are using sophisticated technology apart from that lack of enforcement here yes lack of enforcement lack of awareness with people people starts abusing all those drugs but they are unaware about their negative or long term implication on their health on their family status on their financial status yes people started smoking but they are completely unaware of the fact that what will happen this is another type of issue apart from that socho yaar yahi sare point hai jo aapko mains mein likhne hote hain to yahan discuss ho jayega to yaad aa jayega wahan pe aur batao okay collapse of family structure is another issue because that earlier in the joint family people were taking care of those children or especially the ad- adolescent those the teenagers so people uh, especially the grandparents were taking care of those children because their parents were working right now parents are working and those children are in their home after the school and they are involved in such crime okay easy availability ye bhi ek issue hai aur glorification to hai hi tribalization hai glorification hai drugs ka ye sab ho jayega organized crime and drug culture collab with the terrorism hum aate hain is pe har sabhi aa hi rahe hain are you okay with this so what are the reason samajh gaye ठीक है इससे रिलेटेड कुछ डेटा मैं लिखवा भी दूंगा इसको आप लोगों को ठीक है यस ड्रग डलेमा सो फर्स्ट लेट्स डिस्कस दिस अराउंड 15.8 मिलियन चिल्ड्रन 15 मिलियन मींस 1.5 करोड़ ओके 1.5 करोड़ चिल्ड्रन एजेड बिटवीन 10 टू 17 इयर्स आर एडिक्टेड टू सब्सटेंस इन इंडिया द इंडियन गवर्नमेंट इंफॉर्मड इन द सुप्रीम कोर्ट कितना 1.5 करोड़ अल्कोहल इज द मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज्ड साइको एक्टिव सब्सटेंस बाय पीपल इन इंडिया फॉलोड बाय सो फर्स्ट वन इज द फर्स्ट वन इज द अल्कोहल सेकंड वन इज द कैनबिस कैनबिस में क्या क्या आएगा एंड ओपियोइड्स दिस इज द थर्ड वन अकॉर्डिंग टू द नेशनल सर्वे स्टेट्स विद द हाईएस्ट प्रेवेलेंस ऑफ कैनबी इज हर चीज वहां पे एक्सट्रीम है ठीक है पंजाब सिक्किम छत्तीसगढ़ ओवर थर्टी मिलियन इंडिविजुअल यूज कैनबी प्रोडक्ट्स ओवरऑल ओके दीज आर द चिल्ड्रन नाउ थर्टी मिलियन थर्टी मिलियन मींस थ्री करोड़ सो थ्री करोड़ इंडिविजुअल यूज कैनबी प्रोडक्ट्स अबाउट टू पॉइंट फाइव मिलियन सफर फ्रॉम कैनबी डिपेंडेंट्स कैनबी डिपेंडेंट्स मीन्स दे आर हैबिचुअल और कैनबी मीन्स okay the next the report said that adding that the 22.6 million people use opioids approximately 7.7 million individuals require help for opioid opioid use problem staggering data hai ye literally we are going through a serious drug abuse crisis whether we accept it or not but this is a serious public health problem serious social problem as well and if we consider this particular problem in terms of economy we are wasting our demographic dividend in terms of internal security all the people who are involved in the supply side of the drug okay they will use the same money to destabilize india yes so this particular thing is not good for the society yes it will destabilize society it is not good for the economy why because we are wasting our demographic dividend so society will be destabilized economy will be ruined third one is the personal that individual will be having no use in the future okay so psychologically physically damaging for that particular individual and he is not the uh, criminal he is the victim After a certain point of time, he will be a victim. ये भी तो होगा ना? So psychologically, physically, he will be damaged. Internal security point of view, the proceeds from the same drug will be used to destabilize India. Yes or no? From where those insurgents groups are having uh, that funding? कहाँ से आ रही है funding वो? Organized crime से आ रही है? 
be it the uh, insurgent groups in the north east region or naxals in the red belt region or terrorist group in the jammu kashmir region they all are getting their funding from organized crime so basically organized crime and terrorism they both are working in the nexus that is why we are discussing this particular thing in the chapter of internal security are you getting next point is it also found opioid user comprises to ye kuch data diya hua hai aap dekh lena theek hai ye bhi kuch data hai kitne users hain iske samajh lena theek hai ye ho gaya apna complete isse related ab baat ye hai yahan pe so drug related issue is clear to you okay write down some issues पहले ड्रग वाला देख लेते हैं फिर ऑर्गेनाइज्ड क्राइम पे आते हैं ड्रग अब्यूज सम मोर रिपोर्ट्स लाइक अ रिपोर्ट बाय एम्स अ रिपोर्ट बाय एम्स एम्स मींस यही अपना ऑल इंडिया इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मेडिकल साइंस अ रिपोर्ट बाय एम्स रिपोर्ट का नाम है मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ सब्सटेंस यूज इन इंडिया मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ सब्सटेंस यूज इन इंडिया highlighted that highlighted that around 5 crore indian around 5 crore indians reported to use cannabis and opioids cannabis and opioids cannabis and opioids second point estimated number of lives lost in india related to drug abuse is 25000 25000 per year 25000 per year estimated number of deaths related to drug abuse in india is 25000 per year thick now factors contributing factors contributing to drug problem factors contributing to the drug problem first वैसे ही वही पहला geographical geographical that is india is situated between golden triangle and golden crescent now you know what is golden triangle and golden crescent what is golden crescent in our western side and golden uh, triangle is on the eastern side okay so india is situated between golden triangle and golden crescent this is the first thing second abhi geography mein hi hai hai na second emergence of narco terror state in the afghanistan emergence of narco terror state in the afghanistan narco terror state in the afghanistan and their proximity with the isi and their proximity with the isi so basically what they are doing they are producing opium in the afghanistan look how they are operating basically they are producing opium in this particular region of afghanistan okay who are producing taliban so taliban is the producer of opium now how to supply this opium in the world market so who will do that particular thing isi so the officials of isi are involved in the in that particular operation they will they will take that opium from the taliban they will give their share to taliban and they will supply this particular opium in the world market that is why they are very much powerful because they are receiving the proceeds of the drug trade and the same money will be used by isi to fund terror organization which will destabilize jammu and kashmir and other secure, uh, border region of india like jaish e mohammed lashkar e taiba hizbul mujahideen okay these terrorist organizations are getting money from where from isi and isi is getting money from where because pakistan 
इज अ पुअर स्टेट वहां का फाइनेंस का हाल आप देख ही सकते हो तो इतना पैसा कहां से आ रहा है वो पैसा ड्रग ट्रेड से आ रहा है अब यू गेटिंग ठीक है सो इमरजेंस ऑफ नार्को टेवर स्टेट नार्को मीन्स दे आर प्रोड्यूसिंग नार्कोटिक्स एंड टेवर स्टेट बिकॉज दे आर यूजिंग टेवरिज्म टू प्रमोट नार्कोटिक्स आर यू गेटिंग ठीक है सो दिस इज दी जोग्राफिकल रीजन नेक्स्ट वन इज कल्चरल रीजन इंडिया हैज बीन अ ट्रेडिशनल कंज्यूमर ऑफ ट्रेडिशनल कंज्यूमर ऑफ कैनबीज प्रोडक्ट कैनबीज प्रोडक्ट सच एज भांग गांजा एंड चरस भांग गांजा एंड चरस ओके सेकेंड पॉइंट नाउ देर इज अ ग्रेजुअल शिफ्ट नाउ देर इज अ ग्रेजुअल शिफ्ट फ्रॉम ट्रेडिशनल ड्रग्स टू दी सिंथेटिक ड्रग्स ट्रेडिशनल ड्रग्स ट्रेडिशनल ड्रग्स क्या थी हमारी गांजा भांग एंड चरस एंड नाउ वी आर टेकिंग सिंथेटिक ड्रग सो दिस इज दल्चरल रीजन ओके नेक्स्ट वन इज सोशल रीजन फर्स्ट पीयर प्रेशर पीयर प्रेशर स्पेशली स्पेशली ऑन द टीन एजर्स ये सो नो बिकॉज देअर फ्रेंड्स आर डूइंग इट सो दे विल ट्राई द सेम थिंग फर्स्ट वन इज दी टीन एजर पीयर प्रेशर सेकेंड वन इज एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन Experimentation, experimentation. Then third one is for recreational purpose. For recreational purpose. Okay. Then next heading social is done. बस इतना इतना point ही sufficient है है ना आपको इतना भी लिख दोगे तो आपका काम हो जाएगा वहां पे Recreational purpose means लोग शोकिया तौर पर ले रहे हैं drugs. ठीक है या वीक में एक बार छुट्टी है तो आज ठीक है इस टाइप से समझ गए सो दीज आर दी सोशल रीजन देन अनदर साइकोलॉजिकल रीजन साइकोलॉजिकल रीजन फर्स्ट वन इज मेंटल स्ट्रेस मेंटल स्ट्रेस डिप्रेशन सोशल एंजाइटी एटसेट्रा एंड यूजिंग द ड्रग विल यूजिंग the drug will the relieve the feeling of distress the feeling of distress okay the next one is other reasons other reasons first one is hype and glorification of drugs this is the thing that we are witnessing right now be it web series or the songs that we are listening everyone is glorifying hype and glorification of drugs like mass media mass media web services mass media web services etc are trivializing are trivializing the drug use trivializing the drug use trivializing the drug use the next point lack of enforcement lack of enforcement and easy availability of drugs ganja ban hai india mein theek hai ganja aap aise use kar nahi sakte lekin हर एक को पता होता है कि गांजा कहां मिलेगा आर यू गेटिंग यस और यू बिलीव इट और नॉट इन मेनी स्टेट्स दैट भांग इज लीगली सोल्ड बाय द गवर्नमेंट आर यू अवेयर ऑफ दिस फैक्ट और नॉट नो नो इट इज लीगली सोल्ड बाय द गवर्नमेंट जस्ट लाइक अल्कोहल like for alcohol government is giving licenses to people 
एंड दे आर कलेक्टिंग एक्साइज ड्यूटी फ्रॉम देम इन मध्य प्रदेश फ्रॉम माई स्टेट भांग इज लीगली सोल्ड बाय द गवर्नमेंट ओके द ओनली थिंग यू नीड इज द लाइसेंस If you are having a license, then you can open that shop, and you can openly sell this particular item. Are you getting? Or ganja, jo hai, wo ban hai, chavas ban hai. Lekin har kisi ko pata hota hai kaha milega. Waha bridge ke niche mil jayega ya us market me us kho khopche me mil jayega. It is like this. Samaj gaye? So uninterrupted supply ya easy availability of all these drugs. this is another cause okay so how many factors that we have written 7 to 8 factor ho, ho gaye kya theek hai itna aapka kaam ho jayega theek hai na isme aapka kaam ho jayega now what are the impacts of drug abuse batao aap khud batao what are the impacts health issues first thing second bata do pehle लाइक फैमिली प्रॉब्लम डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस ठीक है और फाइनेंशियल कंडीशन इंक्रीज इन द्राइम रेट्स यस वेरी गुड मोर यस वेस्टेज ऑफ पोटेंशियल स्पेशली द डेमोग्राफिक डिविडेंट दैट वी ओफनली बोस्ट अबाउट इट विल बी वेस्टेड मोस्ट नेक्स्ट इकोनॉमिक बैकिंग ऑफ द टेरिज्म यस द प्रोसीड्स ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइज क्राइम विल फाइनेंस और विल फंड द टेररिस्ट एक्टिविटी मोर इलीगल ऑपरेशन ठीक है लिख लेते हैं इसको लिखिए अगेन वी विल क्लासीफाई ऑल दो आपको कुछ समझ में ना आए ना किसी भी आंसर में लिखने का तरीका है ये यू विल डिवाइड दैट आंसर इन टू दैट पेस्टल सिंपल है कुछ भी नहीं करना है पॉलिटिकल इकोनॉमिकल सोशल टेक्नोलॉजिकल इकोलॉजिकल लीगल और इसमें साइकोलॉजिकल और ये भी ये भी जोड़ दो फिजिकल वगैरह तो आप इससे लिखने की कोशिश करो लाइक like यहाँ पी से हम बना लेंगे पॉलिटिकल पॉलिटिकल क्या क्राइसिस होंगे क्राइम रेट्स बढ़ जाएंगे लिखते जाइए पॉलिटिकल इशू और पॉलिटिकल इंपैक्ट फर्स्ट द प्रोसीड्स ऑफ द प्रोसीड्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइज्ड क्राइम विल बी यूज्ड द प्रोसीड्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइज क्राइम विल बी यूज for terror financing for terror financing sabse bada issue hai yes the second threat to internal security threat to internal security especially in the border areas especially in the border areas third increasing the crime rate in the country increasing the crime rate in the country crime rate in the country and the last drug traffickers drug traffickers will achieve their objective via corruption via corruption yes or no they will give bribe to all those officers or all those people who are involved in the enforcement yes so they will give bribe so ultimately it will lead to the corruption so these are some of the political issue next one is economic issue or economic impact what will be the economic impact first thing that youth that demographic dividend will turn into demographic disaster ye likhiye seedha because of substance abuse the demographic dividend will turn into demographic disaster demographic disaster that is loss of productive capacity of the youth and the second one is acha ek baat batao direct trafficking is going on this is the reality we have to accept this particular thing okay all the illegal substances are there in the market so the proceeds from that particular thing is coming into the regular economy or they are moving in the parallel economy are you getting my point there is one economy where transactions are recorded 
yes all the transactions are recorded like i i will be receiving the salary okay you paid your fees and that transaction was recorded but the proceeds from that drug trafficking or that substance trafficking will not be recorded that money will remain the outside of the economy economy may present a like an outside of that legal economy and it will create a phenomena of parallel economy are you getting it will create a phenomena of parallel economy because all those people who are involved in the drug trafficking will deliberately avoid digital transaction or any such transaction where the money will be entering into the legal, uh, legal economy where their transaction can be traced are you getting so it will create a situation of parallel economy and what are the impact of parallel economy overall soch thoda sa soch karke dekho basically sare ye black money money laundering organized crime they all are interconnected one is the transactional economy where all the transactions are recorded yes one is economy one parallel economy is there in india according to some of the experts the uh, the net amount which is flowing in that uh, parallel economy is 500 billion have you getting my point 500 billion dollar so what are the problems that this parallel economy is creating what will be what are the things that i will purchase with that money that i don't want to show as a legal transaction i will purchase gold i will purchase a real estate where i will not show the transaction yes most of the transaction will be in the cash so it will increase cash flow in the economy and when cash flow in the economy will increase then what will happen inflation will increase and when rbi will try to control the inflation when rbi will bring some monetary policy changes those monetary policy changes will be failed why because rbi is not considering that parallel economy rbi is only considering that transactional economy or that legal economy which is going on but what about that cash which is flowing parallelly so ultimately it is destabilizing economy or not itna gold ka bhav badh jata hai itna real estate ke bhav kya pahunch rahe hain kaise ho raha hai ye itna sab on the one hand we are witnessing extreme level of poverty on the other hand we are having this much of inflation ye anomaly nahi hai who are those people who are purchasing all those things so jay why because that parallel economy is continuously running and that is why rbi's policy that monetary policy is failing are you getting my point to abhi kya likha tha humne main ab isko sum up karke likh lete hain hai na kam shabdon mein kya bola tha maine last point kya bola okay that is the loss of productivity of the youth hai na ye ye likh liya tha next point it will create a it will create a phenomena of parallel economy it will create phenomena of parallel economy parallel economy that will ultimately leads to inflation failure of monetary policy of rbi and destabilization of economy destabilization of economy so these are the economic impact yes or no then social impact what are, what will be the social impact batao what will be the social impact first thing destabilization of family hai na it will destabilize drug abuse or any type of substance abuse will destabilize family first point 
डिस्टेबिलाईज फॅमिली और वी कॅन से डिस्टेबिलाईज फॅमिली कॉमा मेंटल स्ट्रेस टू द फॅमिली बिकॉज दे विल बी हॅव्हिंग वन यूथ हु इज इन इट्स प्राईम बट हु इज अब्युझिंग द सबस्टेन्स सो मेंटल स्ट्रेस टू द फॅमिली द सेकंड वन इज येस नो डोमेस्टिक वायलेन्स domestic violence is another issue domestic violence next it will increase criminal activity it will increase criminal activity within the society criminal activity within the society okay so these these are the social issues next one is the uh social issues ho gaya last one physical physical or health related hazard for an individual health related hazard for an individual first one is long term health implication of substance abuse long term health implication for substance abuse for substance abuse second chances of chances of infectious disease such as hiv why hiv because they are using the same syringes okay same syringes to inject the drugs so hiv tuberculosis hiv tuberculosis etc hiv tuberculosis etc so these these are the effect on the physical health another thing is psychological impact psychological impact such as such as depressant such as depression anxiety panic disorder depression anxiety panic disorder etc depression anxiety panic disorder etc panic disorder etc okay now action taken by the government next action taken by the government or measures taken by the government so some of the legal measures then policy measures legal measures policy measures then institutional measures institutional measures then international cooperation international cooperation what are the legal measures with respect to drug abuse in india so the first one is the dpsp article 47 article 47 dpsp okay that it is the duty aap bas itna bhi likh doge to kaam chal jayega article 47 kya bolta hai that is state it is the duty of the state to raise the level of nutrition and standard of living and to improve the public health as among its primary duty okay and it is also the duty of the state to prohibit the intoxication of the drink and drug which are injurious to the health to ye sara article 47 mein hai to itna likhne ki zarurat nahi hai itna likh doge kaam chal jayega the second one is ndps act ndps act 1987 1987 what is ndps act narcotics drugs and psychotropic substance act chaho to full form likh lo iska narcotics drugs and psychotropic substance act psychotropic substance act okay then policy measures first first policy that is the nasha mukt bharat abhiyan nasha mukt bharat abhiyan first nasha mukt bharat abhiyan second national action plan for drug demand reduction nasha mukt bharat abhiyan 
सेकेंड नेशनल एक्शन प्लान नेशनल एक्शन प्लान फॉर ड्रग डिमांड रिडक्शन फॉर ड्रग डिमांड रिडक्शन ड्रग डिमांड रिडक्शन एंड द लास्ट वन इज स्कीम ऑफ असिस्टेंस फॉर स्कीम ऑफ असिस्टेंस फॉर प्रिवेंशन ऑफ अल्कोहलिज्म स्कीम फॉर स्कीम ऑफ असिस्टेंस फॉर प्रिवेंशन ऑफ अल्कोहलिज्म एंड सब्सटेंस अब्यूज अल्कोहलिज्म और सब्सटेंस अब्यूज ओके दीज आर द पॉलिसीज ओके यू डोंट हैव टू गो इन टू मच डेप्थ ऑफ ऑल दीज पॉलिसीज बस इतना हमें वहां पे क्या होगा कोई पॉलिसी के बारे में पूछ नहीं रहा है आपसे लेकिन एटलीस्ट आपको पॉलिसी का नाम याद होना चाहिए नो बडी विल आस्क दैट वट इज नशा मुक्त भारत अभियान वी ऑल नो दैट नशा मुक्त भारत अभियान दैट गवर्नमेंट इज ट्राइंग टू मेक इंडिया एज ए ड्रग फ्री कंट्री और एडिक्शन फ्री कंट्री एंड फॉर दैट गवर्नमेंट विल ब्रिंग मेनी अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम मेनी एनफोर्समेंट इनिशियटिव समथिंग लाइक दिस इतना तो उसमें ज्यादा डेप्थ में जाने की जरूरत नहीं है उसका ठीक है इंस्टीट्यूशनल दैट सम ऑफ द इंस्टीट्यूशन विच आर एनफोर्सिंग लाइक एनडीपीएस एक्ट सो फर्स्ट वन इज एनसीबी नार्कोटिक्स कंट्रोल ब्यूरो नार्कोटिक्स कंट्रोल ब्यूरो सो फर्स्ट वन इज एनसीबी द सेकेंड वन इज एन कोड एनसीबी सेकेंड वन इज एन कोड दैट इज नार्को कोऑर्डिनेशन सेंटर नार्को कोऑर्डिनेशन सेंटर एंड थर्ड वन इज द सिम्स थर्ड वन इज दिम्स सिम्स इज सीजर इंफॉर्मेशन मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम सीजर इंफॉर्मेशन मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम सीजर इंफॉर्मेशन मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम नार्को कोऑर्डिनेशन सेंटर Caesar Information Management System. That whatever the Caesar that NCB is doing, they will maintain that information in this particular portal. That is SIMS, Caesar Information Management System. And government also contributing, uh, cooperating with the other international or organization in order to control that drug or substance abuse in India. Like first, India is a signatory of. India is a signatory of first United Nation Convention United Nation Convention on Narcotics Drug United Nation Convention on Narcotics Drugs Convention on Narcotics Drugs 1961 second United Nation Convention on Psychotropic Substance 1971 United Nation Convention on Psychotropic Substance 1971 and last Transnational Convention Crime Transnational Crime Convention Transnational Crime Convention 2000 2000 so these are the initiative so basically now you understood the entire scenario with respect to drugs in India okay what are the legal provision to fight against the menace of drug article 47 which is the duty of the state and one more thing that is the ndps act or what is ndps narcotics drugs and psychotropic substance act okay for any issue with respect to internal security you will deal all those is issue in this manner one is constitutional or legal measure second one is the institutional measure third one is the uh, policy measures so or scheme measures and last one will be the international cooperation okay all such issues will be dealt in this manner only theek okay? hai and how to generate point that pestle factor contributing to the drug abuse pestle laga do point nikal ke aa jayenge panch che aur panch che likhne hote hain wahan pe दस लिखने भी नहीं होते पांच छह पॉइंट आराम से जनरेट हो जाएंगे ओके एंड हाउ टू कंट्रोल अगेन पेस्टल लगा दो समझ रहे हो वो पेस्टल ऐसे लिखना नहीं है वहां पे ऑटोमेटिक वो दिमाग में आना चाहिए कि पॉलिटिकल डायमेंशन में ये होगा ओके इन सोशल डायमेंशन दीज विल बी दैक्टर्स ओके डन विद दिस नाउ ड्रग अब्यूज ओके 
so we have completed that debug abuse now we will uh, discuss because debug smuggling or narcotic narcotics smuggling is nothing but the organized crime it cannot done by any single individual okay there are always some cartels behind that particular crime and what are cartels cartels means a group of people who are involved in the unorganized uh, sorry illegal activity they are organized unka ek pura structure hota hai okay so what is or organized crime a group of people who are involved in the illegal activity but they are organized in such a way that there will be a hierarchy one will be the boss another one will be the junior boss other one will be the foot soldier it is like this so they are organized and most of the uh, or organized groups are transnational organized group they are not only active in india they are active in other parts of the world like we have discussed that cjng okay it is the mexican cartel but which is involved in almost all of the country are you getting point so this is the organized group which is involved in the organized crime because individual cannot do this particular thing is it okay for you now how this in your syllabus one topic is given that is linkages between organized crime and terrorism now how this organized crime any type of organized crime is related to the terrorism this should be our point of discussion so basically first we will discuss that types of organized crime these are the organized crime organized crime encompasses a wide range of illegal activities carried out by structured groups first one is the drug trafficking okay the illegal production distribution sale of drug the second one is human trafficking okay the second one is human trafficking exploiting people to through force fraud coercion for labor or sexual purpose this is the human trafficking okay many organized criminals are involved in the human trafficking the third one is arms trafficking that is the illegal trade of firearms and ammunition okay the next one is money laundering concealing the origins of illegally obtained money typically by means of transfer involving foreign banks and legitimate business in some of the classes we will discuss money laundering okay i will explain the concept of money laundering then cyber crime crimes conducted via internet including hacking identity theft online fraud fraud financial crimes deceptive practices for financial gain such as ponzi scheme embezzlement and credit card fraud okay so all these crimes are organized crime apart from that counterfeiting okay what is counterfeiting that first copy okay that nike ka koi sa shoes aaya first copy agle din karol bag mein aapko mil jayega okay this is known as counterfeiting okay counterfeiting of currency bhi ho sakta hai that is that uh, fake currency notes okay or counterfeiting of uh, those consumer goods can be done so counterfeiting of fake goods currency and documents another thing is organized theft and robbery coordinated theft such as car theft ring or bank robberies or extortion or racketeering forcing individual or business to pay for the protection or other service under the threat of violence some of the crimes are environmental crimes such as illegal activities harming the environment like illegal logging what is this illegally cutting the tree in the forest hai na wo chandan ke ped kaat ke le gaye that pushpa okay although that particular thing is glorified yes that movie is super hit but this is the crime usme jo dikhaya hai that structure that syndicate usme syndicate hi bola tha yes aapne dekhi hogi sab logon ne so that syndicate word was used what was that syndicate is all about they all are organized criminal yes pushpa started his journey from a simple 
लॉगर है ना एक वो कुल्हाड़ी चलाने वाले से ही बिकेम द हेड ऑफ दट सिंडिकेट इन दी क्लाइमेक्स ऑफ द मूवी ये हुआ था कि नहीं हुआ था तो दैट हाईवेवकी विच हैज बिन शोन इन दैट मूवी इज नथिंग बट दी ऑर्गेनाइज क्रिमिनल गैंग उसको उन्होंने सिंडिकेट नाम दे दिया आर यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट ठीक है सो इलीगल लोगिंग वाइल्ड लाइफ ट्रैफिकिंग पोल्यूशन देन इलीगल इमिग्रेशन दिस इज अव टाइप ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइज क्राइम कोई भी आएगा आपसे कहेगा कनाडा का वीजा लगवा देंगे आ जाओ ये ये दिस इज वन टाइप ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइज क्राइम ओके दैट डन की मूवी वॉज देयर है ना वो डन की रूट से जो जाते हैं तो वो जो लेके जाने वाले लोग हैं वो कौन है वो यही तो है This is another type of organized crime that they will facilitate illegal immigration in some other countries. So illegal immigration, then money laundering, smuggling, contract killing. One man is in the news right now. Yes. So contract killing, kidnapping, prostitution, etc. So all these activities are nothing but the organized crime. they are not performed by individual rather they are performed by one organized gang like syndicate of that pushpa movie okay so this is the organized crime okay so organized crime is some different activity but what are the threats emanating from that organized crime so that organized crime is working now we are very well aware of the fact that they they will be having enough money to bribe all those officials in that particular area this will be the first thing so they will bribe all those officers all those enforcement agencies and even the businessmen who were working in that area and in a short span of time they will be establishing the contact with the politicians as well yes or no okay in the long run all those people whether the officers or those businessmen or those local politicians or the people or the people of that particular area who are the beneficiaries of the charity organized by those organized crime yes or no that pushpa became the super hero that syndicate giant okay but ultimately he will be having some charity for his own people so they will be supporting him unko matlab nahi hai ki ye kis type ke crime mein involve hai yes or no so they all will be supporting him so the problem with organized crime is this within a short span of time they will gather support from all sections of the society be it the society or the officers or the local politicians or the businessman if any businessman will oppose them they will kill them simple hai are you getting my point or not so ultimately they will gather the support of all the people samajh gaye baat ko this is the tactics used by organized criminal gang now what is the linkage of that particular suppose that syndicate in the pushpa movie okay hum usi ka example lete hain now how this syndicate will be connected with the terrorism ye hamare syllabus ka part hai how how it will get uh, uh, it will establish connection with the terrorist group now it is having enough reputation in the local society it will be controlling all the officers enforcement agencies it will be having connection with the local politicians as well and they are working flawlessly in their own illegal business and they are having enough amount of money are you okay with this yahan tak clear ho gaya this is the organized crime now how they will establish connection batao inka linkage hi to dhoondna hai hame वो कैसे हो पाएगा सपोज वन वन नक्सल ग्रुप इज कनेक्टिंग 
is trying to establish connection with the that syndicate of Pushpa movie. Okay, that we want to carry out one terrorist attack. Okay, in this particular place, and we will give you money. Just make arrangements. You have all the network. Are you getting my point? Simple. You have you have entire network which is which is functioning very well in that particular area. So just uh, help us. So basically, that organized criminal gang or their network will provide logistical support to whom? That terrorist group. That logical support will be provided by that particular group. Are you getting my point? And they will carry out one particular Naxal attack or terrorist attack in one particular place. Okay. Now they are they are having a good bonding. Are you getting my point? Now in the next turn, when that syndicate is trying to establish their business in one particular area where this terrorist organization is having good foothold, then that terrorist organization will help this particular. Are you getting my point? Or suppose one particular area where another syndicate is active and where that Pushpa syndicate is trying to establish their ground, then this terrorist organization will provide protection because organized criminal, okay, they will use violence, but they will try to avoid that media news. They will avoid all types of sensationalism. They will work in a manner that they will not be in the news. News may nahi aana chaate. On the one hand, the objective of terrorist organization is to make the news. Dono mein ye fark hota hai. Are you getting my point? So basically, they, they will work in sync. On the one hand, the terrorist organization will provide them protection from other armed group and organized crime, which is having enough money, will provide funding to the like that D company, that Daud Ibrahim gang of Mumbai. So they were involved in the organized crime first. They were involved in the uh, that uh, smuggling, smuggling of gold, smuggling of something like this. So they were having that organized criminal gang in Mumbai or underworld of Mumbai. Okay. With the time, they establish one particular network. Now that Daud Ibrahim was, uh, that ISI established a connection with the Daud and they used the network of Daud to carry out terrorist attack in Mumbai. Are you getting my point? So network of organized criminal gang will be used by terrorist. Are you getting? And who? And in order to get protection, okay, organized groups are dependent upon the terrorist group. So they will provide protection to them and they will provide funding to them. Hogana mutually beneficial relationship. Simple. Or in the long run, kya hoga? Long run, maybe I will tell you. This proper mafia hierarchy. Hai, hai? In the long run, this will happen. Okay? Organized crime group. Okay? They will make alliance with the terrorist group. Then, use of terror tactique for operational purpose. Okay, then they will do some ideological crime. Thus, in the same manner, terrorist group, they will make alliance with the criminal. Okay, 
ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सपोज आई एस आई एस फंडेड लश्कर तैयबा इज मेकिंग अलायंस विद दी डी कंपनी ये सोनो दे आर वर्किंग इन अ सिंक एंड दे आर इन्वॉल्व इन दी क्रिमिनल एक्टिविटी फॉर दी ऑपरेशनल पर्पज अल्टीमेटली दे विल परफॉर्म कमर्शियल टेरिज्म एज वेल एज आइडियोलॉजिकल टेरिज्म कमर्शियल टेरिज्म मतलब स्मगलिंग एंड ऑल ऑल सोर्ट ऑफ इलीगल इकोनॉमिक क्राइम एंड वॉट इज आइडियोलॉजिकल क्राइम टेररिस्ट अटैक सो दिस इज दी कन्वर्जेंस ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइज क्रिमिनल गैंग एंड ओके ऑन द वन हैंड दिस इज द लश्कर ए तैयबा on the other hand this is the d company samajh mein aayi kya baat samajh lo isko acche se yahi diagram banana hai okay is it clear online students covert and overt objectives ha bol sakte hain covert and overt objectives okay and at a one point of time this is known as black hole syndrome where they both will merge like ultimately that daud became tevis yes or no earlier he was the boss or the mafia yes or the head of d company who was operating that organized criminal gang but at last he became what he became samajh gaye baat ko ye hota hai last mein i will give many example that how one particular terrorist organize terrorist organization now involved in the drug trafficking human trafficking so basically they are not only terrorist organization they are organized criminal gangs as well all those insurgent groups of north eastern region okay ulfa or something like this kuki insurgent group naga insurgent groups they all are producing opium they all are carrying opium trade illegal smuggling smuggling of goods smuggling of drugs okay and they are carrying out insurgent activities as well samajh gaye aap baat ko to ek time aayega jab dono activity mil jayengi aur ye hamare samne hua hai The D company merged into one terrorist organization. इसी को बोलते हैं ब्लैक होल कि वो एक टाइम पे आ करके कंप्लीट हो जाता है समझ गए क्या बात को ठीक है अब देखो इसके एग्जाम्पल देखो पहले तो ये क्लियर हुआ ठीक है अच्छा ऑर्गेनाइज क्राइम की पहले डेफिनेशन लिख लो फिर आते हैं इस पर ऑर्गेनाइज क्राइम पे आ जाओ इट इज एमिनल एंटरप्राइज that works for profit works for profit from illicit activities from illicit activities that are often in great public demand illicit activities that are often in great public demand that are often in great public demand they maintain their continuous existence via corruption via corrupting public officials corrupting public officials use of intimidation use of intimidation or force to protect or force to protect their operation force to protect their operation अच्छा ये जो रेत माफिया वाले जो हैं सैंड माफिया ये भी तो एक टाइप का ऑर्गेनाइज्ड क्राइम ही हुआ ऑल दो सैंड माफिया यस और नो दैट सैंड माफिया इज नथिंग बट द सेम दे आर द ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल हु आर इन्वॉल्व इन द इलीगल माइनिंग ऑफ सैंड तो ये भी क्या हुआ एक टाइप का ऑर्गेनाइज क्राइम है समझ गए बात को है ना so next one is the characteristics of organized crime characteristics of organized crime characteristics of organized crime 
so basically there are three type of people who are involved in the organized crime the one is the uh, the protectors one is the protectors the other one is the organized crime support group one is the support group and the last one last one is the criminal group who are the support group so they are the public officials because they are receiving proceeds of organized crime as a corruption as a bribery local businessman or local politician businessman and uh, lawyers who will protect them in the court of law hai na so they are the protectors then support group so support group are of two type one is social support social support group so what is the tactic they will use for creating a social sub, uh, support group kisi ki bhi shaadi mein chale jao wahan pe jaake acha gift de do are you getting charity kar do navratri mein bhandara karwa do iftiyar party rakh do okay so in this way the local community where they have active okay they will get the support of that community by doing all sorts of work so that particular community will be their social support group and one is another support is the specialist support specialist support group specialist support group specialist support group like engineers like engineers doctors engineers doctors technicians etc and the last one is the criminal group okay write down criminal group so in this way they work so basically some will provide them protection some people will provide them log logistical assistance yes or no logistical assistance like one engineer okay to whom they radicalized and now the particular individual is creating bomb for them have you getting wo khud bomb nahi fodne wala hai jaake lekin wo kar kya raha hai wo bomb bana raha hai unke liye baith ke logistic support samajh gaye baat ko so they are providing them logistic support they are providing them social support they are providing them legal support and then comes the ground ग्राउंड वर्कर और फिर आएंगे जो ग्राउंड पे काम करते हैं उनके लोग वो सारे क्रिमिनल होंगे इन दिस मैनर दे विल वर्क समझ गए बात को तो इस वजह से उनके साथ फाइट करना बड़ा मुश्किल होता है है ना क्यों होगा मुश्किल वेन एवर पुलिस विल स्टार्ट सम इन्वेस्टिगेशन और सम एक्टिविटी देन दट सोशल सपोर्ट विल ग्रुप सोशल सपोर्ट ग्रुप विल सेव दे they will come forefront they will be having confrontation with the police or any other law enforcement agency samajh gaye baat ko they will provide them support to in logo ke sath fight karna bahut mushkil ho jata hai daud ke bare mein sabko pata tha 
लेकिन वो जब तक इंडिया से वो चला नहीं गया यहाँ से जब तक उसने वो टेररिस्ट अटैक नहीं करवा दिए तब तक उसका कोई कुछ कर नहीं पाया था एंड स्टिल मेनी ऑफ सच माफियाज आर एक्टिव इन इंडिया और अभी भी कोई कुछ कर नहीं पा रहा है वाई बिकॉज दे आर हैविंग दिस पर्टिकुलर सिस्टम सो दिस इज दर्गेनाइज क्राइम समझ गए सम कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइज्ड क्रिमिनल गैंग्स सम कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइज्ड क्रिमिनल गैंग फर्स्ट स्ट्रक्चर्ड ग्रुप दैट इज हैविंग अ प्रॉपर हाईवेर की दैट इज हैविंग अ प्रॉपर हाईवेर की having a proper hierarchy the next one is continuity that is group survives beyond the life of its leadership continuity that group survives beyond ha og workers bol sakte hain wo particular terrorism ke case mein aayega harsh continuity the group exists for a long period of time and survive beyond the life of its leadership what it means ek leader mar bhi gaya boss to wo group continue rahega ye nahi ki group band ho gaya dusra boss ban jayega samajh gaye na is type se so this is continuity third one is the third one is the involved in the serious crime and the last one is the having a definite purpose having a definite purpose having a definite purpose okay so organized crime is clear to you theek hai and types of organized crime we have already discussed okay these are the types of organized crime yes drug trafficking human trafficking arms trafficking money laundering cyber crime theek hai counterfeiting organized theft environmental crime money laundering contract killing kidnapping okay theek hai now dealing with organized crime present a numerous challenge due to its complex and evolving nature why sophisticated sophistication and adaptability organized crime group are highly sophisticated and they are adaptable often using advanced technology innovative method to evolve evade the law enforcement like in that pushpa movie okay that officer that police officer that uh, caught pushpa okay so they evolved a new technique they started smuggling via those uh, milk tankers are you getting fir abhi next movie jo aane wali hai wo kuch aur evolve kar lenge theek hai pehle drug smuggling hoti thi via person theek hai now they are using drones to smuggle the packets samajh mein aayi na baat hai to is type se cheeze chal rahi hai theek hai they are using sophisticated technology adaptability then third second one is the transnational nature what is transnational nature what is transnational nature of crime the same organized criminal gang is active in india as well as in pakistan so suppose with the strictness we can curb their activities but what about pakistan Are you getting my point? The same group is active in Pakistan. The same group is active in Bangladesh, and we cannot curb the same activity in Bangladesh. We can only request Bangladeshi government, please stop all these things. Are you getting? अबे ये कौन है यार अनुज इसको बंद कीजिए आपके माइक को. Third, corruption. So corruption within the law. जब हमारे ही यहाँ के जो ऑफिसर है लो इन्फोर्समेंट है वो ही करप्ट है देन नथिंग कैन बी डन देन 
a resource limitation, law enforcement agencies often face a resource constraint, including limited funding, personnel, technology, which can impede their ability to effectively combat the organized crime. Then legal and regulatory gaps, difference in the legal framework and regulatory standard, criminal, political, bureaucratic nexus. How they will work in sync. Then economic and social factor, high level of poverty, unemployment, social inequality can create environment where organized crime can thrive as individual may turn to illegal activity out of necessity. Then cyber crime, then violence, intimidation, etc. So basically, these are the challenges if you are dealing with the organized crime. These are some of the uh, initiative started by uh, India has implemented several measures to combat organized crime. Such as first one is the legislation. India has enacted various laws to address organized crime such as Makoka, Maharashtra Control of Organized Crime Act. Karnatak Control of Organized Crime Act, UP Koka, Uttar Pradesh Control of Organized Crime Act. Okay. The second, International Convention. India has ratified the important international convention, including United Nations Convention Against the Transnational Crime and its protocol. Then anti-trafficking efforts. The government has signed memorandum of agreement with the countries like Bangladesh, UAE, Cambodia to prevent the human trafficking. Are you getting? So, some of the steps in terms of capacity building, India has been working on the building of capacity of its law enforcement agency. For instance, United Nations Office of Drug and Crime has conducted training workshop for the Indian police officers, judges, prosecutor to enhance their skills in the combating terrorist and organized crime. Anti-corruption measures like India ratified United Nations Convention Against Corruption. Then, some of the specialized agencies like Central Bureau of Investigation, Narcotics Control Bureau to tackle the organized crime. Okay? And we can say some legislative measures again that NDPS Act. Right? NDPS Act. We have discussed that. So we have completed that organized crime. Is it okay? And we already understood the relationship between the organized crime and terrorism that uh, no relation first there is no relationship that pushpa gang is active that uh, naxals or any other terrorist organizations are active they are working separately okay no relationship terrorist drug trafficking and human trafficking group remain independent but operate within the same area then terrorist and criminal groups form a mutually beneficial alliance Exchange of operational support. Operational support, logistical support. Okay. The next one is the previously independent criminal and terrorist group alter their original aim and tactics and morph into a single entity. That was happened in case of the D company. I believe it was an organized criminal gang. Later on, it became terrorist organization. Single entity that exhibit the features of both. ओके वही वाला पॉइंट यही वाला कि ये दोनों स्टार्ट करते हैं यहां से और यहां पे आके क्या होता है दोनों मर्ज हो जाते हैं एक पॉइंट पे आकर के दोनों मर्ज हो जाएंगे ओके कोई डाउट इसमें ठीक है अब ये कैसे और बहुत सारे एग्जांपल्स हैं वो भी देख लेते हैं मैंने इसमें दिया हुआ है यहां तक तो हमने डिस्कस कर लिया था that was in the news that Al Qaeda's new business model, cocaine and human trafficking. So basically, it was a terrorist organization. But what is the new business model? Yes, why? Already their terrorists are active, their network is active. Now they are using the same network to earn profit. Simple. Hai. Hai na? The next. Narco Jihad, drug trafficking and security in Afghanistan and Pakistan. Because all the terrorist group who are involved in the opium production. Opium production, opium supply chain. Taliban, Pakistan, Khalistan nexus could boost drug trade, threaten 
इंडिया पंजाब की हालत हमें पता ही है ठीक है ये कुछ एक रिपोर्ट है बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट एज पर टू रिपोर्ट ऑफ यू एन देव हैज बिन 37 परसेंट इंक्रीज इन ओपीएम प्रोडक्शन इन अफगानिस्तान बिकॉज तालिबान वॉज कमिंग एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट 37 परसेंट इंक्रीज वाइल द प्रोडक्शन इन म्यांमार डिक्रीज अफगानिस्तान नाउ कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट मोर देन कितना 83 परसेंट 83 परसेंट ऑफ द ग्लोबल ओपीएम सप्लाई अनफॉर्चुनेटली फॉर इंडिया सिग्निफिकेंट क्वांटिटी क्वांटिटीज ऑफ दीज ड्रग्स आर मेकिंग देयर वे both in terms of global market transit to global market and as a final destination which means india is acting as a transit point as well okay they are uh, shipping all the drugs to india and from india it has been transported to many countries so india is acting as a transit as well as final destination which means we are we started consuming drugs also wahan se trade nahi hai na zyada afghanistan se itna trade nahi hota hai india se trade zyada hai na to wo shipment mein thoda thoda kar kar ke yahan wahan bhejenge na direct to bhej nahi sakte ke shipment aap bhej rahe hai by drug ka aisa to hoga nahi na samajh rahe ho ab baat ko ki wo aise open hi to hota nahi hai ye ye cheez इंडिया का ट्रेड ज्यादा है सो इंडिया बिकेम ट्रांजिट पॉइंट अभी आ रहे हैं जो ट्रेड वाला मैं बता रहा हूं ठीक है सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी द डायरेक्टर ऑफ रेवेन्यू इंटेलिजेंस दिस इज अनदर एनफोर्समेंट एजेंसी डी आर आई ओके सीज कितना थ्री थाउजेंड के जी नार्कोटिक्स वर्थ ट्वेंटी वन थाउजेंड करोर At the Mundra port in Gujarat, that Adani port, that Adani port is known as Mundra port. कितना पकड़ाया था वहाँ से? कितना three thousand kg drug. And according to DRI, that drug was meant to uh, meant for transshipment. मतलब वो वहाँ से आएगा और कहीं और चला जाएगा. समझ गए? It came in two. Containers from the Bandar Abbas port from Iran, but DRI official believe that the original source of the drugs was Afghanistan. Okay. Intelligence report show that the drug seizure have come down along the Balkan region or the Central Asian region route since 2016, indicating the enforcement by anti-drug agencies. Now that route is closed. so india became the best destination the only uh, available alternative route is the indian subcontinent tons of opium produced in afghanistan are smuggled into western borders of pakistan in 100 to 200 kg packets and then reassembled into bigger consignment by gangs in the lahore and faisalabad before being sent to the karachi and gwadar for the further transportation to the fishing fishing vessels in the makaran coast then in many drug seizures 2019 20 it was noticed that the packing covered were some of the popular brands of oats and atta in pakistan said an indian customs official pakistan mein jo aate vaate milte hai like aashirwad aate ke packet mein drugs aa rahi hai it is like this theek hai then pakistan acts as an intermediary and assist the taliban in distributing the drugs all over the world as far as the west and the africa pratik joshi the foreign policy research at the oxford university and within the pakistan who is doing isi and pakistani army pakistan makes the advantage of 2500 km long porous border shares with afghanistan and also 1062 km long coast line on the arabian sea to promote the drug trade ye mundra port wali news hai they will look at punjab gujarat rajasthan and jammu and kashmir for the narcotics smuggling infiltration is also expected to increase the latest diy seizure however has shown that this may already be happening between 2017 to 20 as many as 38 afghan nationals were arrested by indian agencies for drug trafficking unlike terror outfit 
Drug smugglers never rely on the single route apart from the land, air, and sea route. The latest trend is to use the drones. Okay. He said the drugs were being smuggled from Pakistan through Indian waters along with the western coast of Gujarat, Maharashtra, and also through the land routes via Punjab. So basically, ye aise aa raha hai pura. Kuch idhar se, kuch idhar se. Thik hai? India mein consumption ke liye. Thik. Kashmiri youth with the drugs. Uh, just as it did in Punjab. At the same time, terror groups active in this state use drugs and money to entice new recruits. Okay? Pakistani terrorist group like jesh e Muhammad, lashkar e Tayyaba, and Khalistani outfits like Khalistan Liberation Force. Okay? They all are involved in the drug trafficking. So basically, in with respect to India or with respect to any other country, organized groups and terrorist organization are working together. Samaj gaye? Khalistani terrorist to pura ye wala ek baar pad dena. Thik hai? Hamne discuss kar diya hai. Samaj mein aya that how organized groups are linked with the terrorist organization. Thik hai? Apne paas 10 minute kuch likh lete hain iske baare mein. Baki to zyada tar maine yaha point de hi di hai. To apna ye pura topic hi complete ho jayega. Linkages between terrorist terrorism and organized crime. So, पहले तो हम ये diagram बनाएंगे, है ना? ये वाला, कन्व, ये वाला, ठीक है? तो उसमें पहला लिखेंगे alliance, alliance between organized criminal groups and terrorist which could which could which could result in seeking expertise which could result in seeking expertise like making bombs like making bombs and operational support and operational support okay at first they will start alliance it can be short term or long term alliance. Okay? Like terrorist group is seeking support from an or organized group that please let us help. Okay? In operational support. You will provide us access to some other parts. And in the same manner that organized group is seeking some technical expertise to make some bomb from the terrorist organization. It is like this. So, dono ek dusre se alliance banaye. Fir second point the key operational motivation. Operational motivation. Organized criminal group will engage in political activities. Because inka motive kya hai? Inka agenda political hota hai. They are not here to seek profit. Hai na? So, engage in political activities while while terrorist group will engage in criminal activity. Third one is convergence. Convergence. That is, both starts displaying the characteristics of other. Both starts displaying the characteristics of others. Like that Pushpa, who is running a syndicate. Now, he established his own his own army or his own body of militia. Are you getting my point? Earlier, that particular syndicate is working in the illegal activity. That is, they are illegally cutting all those sandalwood tree and they are making profit out, out of it. But now, for their own security, they established one group of militia. Are you getting? They are heavily armed. So it is nothing but the showing the characteristics of terrorist organization. Are you getting? So usne ye karna start kar diya. So convergence and the last one is the black hole. Where the thin line the thin line that separates their activities 
thin line that separates their activities disappears. Disappears. Especially in the failed state environment. Especially in the failed state environment. Failed state environment. Especially in the failed state environment. समझ गए जहां पे फेल्ड स्टेट रहेगा यू कैन राइट एग्जाम्पल अफगानिस्तान अफगानिस्तान इज ए फेल्ड स्टेट सो दैट तालिबान ओके विच इज अ टेरिस्ट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नाउ इट इज डूइंग द वर्क ऑफ बोथ इट इज प्रोड्यूसिंग द ओपीएम इट इज सप्लाइंग द ओपीएम एंड इट इज कैरिंग आउट टेरिस्ट अटैक एज वेल एंड इन द फ्यूचर द डे इज नॉट फॉर द सेम थिंग विल बी हैपनिंग इन द पाकिस्तान because they are doing the same thing yes or no samajh gaye baat ko so these are the connection next heading dal diye first terrorism and human trafficking kuch kuch example likh lete hain terrorism and human trafficking which means some of the terrorist organizations are involved in the terrorism as well as human trafficking they are earning profit from human trafficking activities and the proceeds will be used for terrorist activity ye to aap samajh hi gaye likh lijiye isme example boko haram example boko haram of nigeria and al shabab of somalia are trafficking children and women are trafficking children and women आपको याद हो तो कुछ सालों पहले छह सात साल पहले दट बोको हराम एबडक्टेड थ्री हंड्रेड वुमन इन नाइजीरिया वो कहा गई महिलाएं पता नहीं और किसी ने कुछ नहीं किया कोई कुछ नहीं बोल बोल पाया आप जाके सर्च कर सकते हैं कि बोको हराम ने क्या किया था ठीक है सो ट्रैफिकिंग एंड terrorism boko haram and al shabab second drug trafficking and terrorism drug trafficking and terrorism example al qaeda al qaeda is involved in the north african region involved in the north african region in drug trade in drug trade next trafficking of weapons and terrorism trafficking of weapons and terrorism example again al qaeda al qaeda in libya and tunisia al qaeda in libya and tunisia Libya and Tunisia. Libya and Tunisia. Next, illegal mining and terrorism. Illegal mining and terrorism. Example. IS IS. ISIS is the richest terrorist organization group whose turnover was 2 billion dollar in 2015 aur kya kar rahe hain wo iran aur iraq aur syria wala jo oil aur gas nikal ke bech rahe hain illegally theek hai so these are the examples or chaho to aap likh sakte ho kidnapping for ransom and terrorism kidnapping for ransom and terrorism kidnapping for ransom and terrorism okay example boko haram boko haram kidnapped many civil servants 
many civil servants, politicians, and foreigners. For ransom. For a ransom. Okay? Samaj gay? So, organized crime and terrorism, the entire topic is completed. India mein kaha kaha par hai? Okay? So, if we talk about India, then I will try to make a map of India. Nahi bane ga ya, vaise. बन गया ठीक है सो इन इंडिया दे आर एक्टिव इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर यहां पे क्या है टेररिस्ट टेररिस्ट ग्रुप हु आर इन्वॉल्व इन एफसीआईएन फेक इंडियन करेंसी नोट्स प्लस ड्रग ट्रैफिकिंग सो ऑर्गेनाइज्ड क्राइम प्लस ओके in north east region insurgent groups so they are also involved in the drug trafficking from drug trafficking from golden triangle golden triangle first second extortion third human trafficking human and weapon trafficking weapon trafficking okay this is the red corridor so in the red corridor red corridor means naxal affected area so what they are doing in the red corridor naxals and Naxals is nothing but the terrorist group and they are involved in the organized crime of extortion, illegal mining, okay, illegal logging, human and weapon trafficking. Weapon trafficking. Okay. In border areas like Punjab, Punjab, here Khalistan, Khalistani outfit, and they are involved in the drug trafficking, drug smuggling. Okay. ये प्रॉपर डायग्राम बनाना है जब भी ऑर्गेनाइज्ड क्राइम की बात होगी ठीक है यहां मैंने इतना ज्यादा बना दिया यहां पे बनाएंगे हम मुंबई और मुंबई में लिखेंगे अंडरवर्ल्ड यस अंडरवर्ल्ड दैट अंडरवर्ल्ड इज एक्टिव इन ऑल सॉर्ट्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइज्ड ऑर्गेनाइज्ड क्राइम सच एज स्मगलिंग स्मगलिंग ऑफ गोल्ड Silver, precious metal, or precious stones, etc. Okay. So this is the uh, map of. Itna bana doge to bahut achhe marks mil jayenge aapko. Thick. So this discussion completes our entire topic that linkages between organized crime and टेररिज्म, ओके? एक जो टेररिज्म वाला पार्ट है वो बच गया है कि व्हाट इस टेररिज्म एंड हाउ दे विल ऑपरेट। वी विल डिस्कस दैट, ठीक है?
कमेंट में न्यूज में कहीं रहेगा तो हम उसको पढ़ देंगे लेकिन ऑर्गेनाइज क्राइम वाला कॉन्सेप्ट क्लियर हो गया टाइप्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइज क्राइम ड्रग ट्रेड क्या होता है एंड हाउ दिस पर्टिकुलर ट्रेड इज हैविंग लिंकेजेस विद दी टेररिज्म इज इट क्लियर ठीक है चलिए नेक्स्ट क्लास में जो भी होगा देखेंगे